Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a important topic that is FPD, flower bud differentiation. The process of changing vegetative meristem into the reproductive meristem is known as flower bud differentiation. In some books, you can also find instead of vegetative meristem, vegetative bud changes into the reproductive bud or floral bud or vegetative tissue that is converted to the floral primordia. So why we are talking here the vegetative meristem? Because meristem cell have the ability that it can be differentiated into the simple or complex tissue and that will uh, after that that is specific tissue perform the specific functions. So here vegetative meristem converting to the reproductive meristem. And this change from vegetative meristem to the reproductive meristem, it is not a simple process, but it is a, uh, we can say a multifarious event, multiple event take place. And after that, uh, this vegetative meristem will convert it into the floral meristem. And this transition uh, is involving number of events like biochemical changes, changes in pattern of morphogenesis, and changes in cell differentiation and ultimately uh, this whole process lead to the production of different floral organs that that are sepals, petals, stamens and carpal. And this process of flower bird differentiation is a complex physiological process. Why we are saying this is a complex physiological process? As we see in the previous slide that we said there are a multiple event are taking place when the vegetative meristem converted to the what? Reproductive meristem or, or floral meristem. And there are num number of factors. It is not like that only one factor is governing this pro whole process, but there are number of factor or set of internal and external factor which govern this whole process. That is why this flower bud differentiation is a complex physiological process. And these um, internal uh, factor includes like phase changes, hormones, etc. Same way the external factors includes like photoperiod and temperature. As I said, there are number of factors which affected the flower bud differentiation. So let discuss these different factors one by one. So the first factor is phase changes. How the phase changes affect the flower differentiation. As we know, the plant, any plant having the different developmental stages, like embryonic stage is there, then juvenile phase is there, then there is, a, there is a transition phase, and after that, ultimately, reproductive phase will come. So, juvenile phase is that phase of any plant when plant, a plant is not able to produce the flowers, and there will be no uh, flower bud differentiation, and no flower will be produced, and there will be no food set during the juvenile phase. And when the, the plant completes this juvenile phase, after that, the reproductive phase will come. At this phase, or we can say at this stage, plant is able to produce the flowers, fruits. And this juvenile phase, it will vary from plant species to species. In some species, this juvenile phase is very short. And in some species, like in higher woody plants, it may take about 20 years to overcome or we can say uh, to complete this juvenile phase. So uh, whenever the plant in the juvenile plant is in the stage of juvenile phase, uh, though there are uh, suitable um, uh, other other factors are suitable like uh, proper photo period is there, proper temperature is there. Even though the plant is not able to produce the flower and fruit, only after this juvenile phase will be complete, and then after the plant is able to produce the fruits and all. Next factor that affect flower bud differentiation is hormonal changes. So as we said, there are different biochemical changes that take place 
during flower bud differentiation so you know, hormonal changes are among them and different uh, floral stimulus that was reported uh, which affect the flower bud differentiation are florogen g3 vernalin so all these promote the flower bud differentiation and ultimately flowering next is temperature so temperature also play an important role in flower bud differentiation of some biennials and winter annuals and the effect of low temperature in flowering is known as vernalization many plants they require a cold treatment to induce the flowering and this uh, term termed as vernalization and this uh, term vernalization is given by lysenko and in temperature chilling hours is also uh, also important for um, the um, after flower bud differentiation the flower in some plant the flower bud enters to the resting period or dormancy period so to overcome that dormancy or resting period chilling chilling hours are equally important next factor is photo period so photo period again play an important role among the different external factor that is temperature and the next is photo period it play an important role in flower bud differentiation so photo period it refers to the period for which the light is available and the response of plant to light for inducing the flowering is no termed as photo periodism so there is a wide diversity of plant which responses to the photo period period and they are classified as long day plant short day plants and there are some plants they are day neutral which in which there is no effect of photo period so long day plants they require the more duration of light and same way short day plant they require light for short duration and in the long day plant they also termed as short night plants and short day plant they can also be termed as long night plant so photo period it it again that we can say that play an important role in flower bud differentiation and the next is cn ratio the carbon nitrogen ratio of plant is very important for flower bud differentiation if carbon nitrogen ratio is adequate it means that plant have even uh, enough uh, carbohydrates or energy that can be diverted for flower bud differentiation and when the carbon nitrogen ratio is low means the nitrogen is more and the, when the nitrogen is more then it favor the vegetative growth so for flower bud differentiation this carbon nitrogen ratio must be adequate and it again play an important role in flower bud differentiation